Hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I'm not feeling good today guys. I feel horrible. I feel crappy. I don't know what else to do with this cold I got. But I still gotta move on and stuff like that. Uh, we got a product unboxing for you guys today. It is a Bryant's Load Test Tool. What this does is you stick it in your outlet and you can test your appliances or your lamps or whatever you want to test with this uh, uh, little load test or needle. And I'll bring it up and show you what it looks like. This is a package. It comes in. There's the test or there's the cord. And here's what the back of it looks like. And to open this package. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Huxy Vano knife here. It's a pretty good knife. And what I normally do, this is just a lot easier for me, just to cut up this way, cut this way, and cut down this way. Before I can open it like a clamshell instead of have to using my scissors and wearing my scissors and dulling my scissors that much. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick here on the edge. Very easy to open. Sometimes these blades get dull too, and that's typically normal. And my blades do get kind of dull uh, on these uh, on these uh, kits. I have more of these blades. I don't know what you want, but what else gonna go push really hold? And see if we can break the clamshell package to pop up, pop open here. Show you guys. This is a tough plastic. This will host the doll my exact blade, or should I say the tilting blades on this uh, beast. Because this is a pretty thick. Plastic. This is just I found it a lot easier to do with my tilly knife. Sometimes it'll slip off the thing. But that's okay, I'm not worried about it. It's very hard plastic, that's it, you know, guys. Well, we got it opened, I hope. That's my utility knife, the only I have the lights for. And all I do is I just grab it. Oh, I mean, and sometimes you gotta be careful, guys. This plastic can be quite sharp. And you can see that, guys. I just cut through the plastic. It's a lot easier doing it with my utility knife than it is a pair of scissors. And this pop right up. Okay. The unit. Don't worry about it if you got any damage. The cardboard. This has all the instructions. It's for you right there, guys. And if this doesn't work, they'll show the package right. So if you turn it back to Lowe's, that's where I got mine at. And here's the final unit. It's just a small little unit here. Let's go ahead and peel the little plastic thing off though we're gonna need that as well and this is a pretty short little unit it's not that long and it's pretty short yeah okay it was about probably roughly about maybe six foot or something or oh, less than six foot guys but we're gonna 
going to grab a three plong and stuck in Gord Hill. And we're going to see if uh, we can use it for testing purposes. And my hearing. And the reason I'm grabbing my seven second board is that it's pretty small. Size. Stuff like that. But it's a pretty good looking unit to test your appliances and your lamps and all and stuff like that. I will go test her out and see if she actually works like these the first two here guys, but don't know what it really does, but this is just one I got down at Lowe's. And I was using one of my stunting guards. See if we can flick away in the hill. Let's see if she loads up here. So far, it's working just fine. There's your, there's your little switch to switch from watts to amps. Some waters, and it's saying I'm drawing. Yeah, I don't know, that's kind of weird. But let's go ahead. So, uh, on the table here. Yeah, it's brand new, guys. It, it won't stay where it wants, it wants to go where it wants to go. But we got a good candidate here. We're going to test it with this lamp tester. Oh, this lamp bottle I made a long time ago. And it has a 25 watt incandescent bulb in it. But uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and see how much uh, amps are we drawing here or watts are we drawing. Uh, so far, I'm only drawing so far two amps. How much watts are we drawing? We are so far drawing 24 watts. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we guys. There's the little watt thing. Drawing 24 watts and drawing 2 amps. Okay, now let's lift this guy off. Now, and this is a 25 watt light bulb. And I don't know why I'm drawing less power or less wattage for the old style incandescent. This is one of those funky 25 watt uh, bulbs. Pretty unique. We're going to dry this green LED bulb. And this uses 1.5 watts and it has 30 amps in it. We're going to plug this guy in and test it as well. See what see what it comes up with. So far go to the amps. Go to the amps there guys. So far I ain't drawing any amps though. 0, 0.0. Let's see how much watts I'm pulling. With the old ball I'm only drawing 2 watts. Huh. Don't know if this thing's accurate or what though guys. Don't know. Alright. Go ahead and get a compact so essence light and test its wattage. This is a 13 watt ingress uh, uh, compact fluorescent bulb here, guys. And let's test it and see what the amps are on it. Bring this up to you guys. So you guys can quite see what it looks like. But th this is not really accurate. I can always buy something different. But let's see. But so far, drawing 3 amps. 
So far, guys. Three minutes. And we are actually drawing more wattage than this bulb can handle. Or this bulb is designed to do. Drawing the uh, four, uh, zero point, or, or 43, or 44 watts, you can see, it just fluctuates just out of the thing itself. But alright guys, this is just my testing stage with this uh, little tester. All this is, is just a tester. Let's help to test you, touch your appliances and your lamps and stuff like that. If you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Please share. Please leave a comment. Peace out. Bye, guys. See you in the next vlog.